Hello, I'm Adam Barrowlay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye is this beautiful shiny crystal that comes most commonly in this golden colour but you can find it in a couple of other colours as well. I'll show you, here's the extreme close-up of my bracelet. You can see the red here, this is sometimes known as uh, Ox's Eye or Dragon's Eye and also the blue one which is also known as Falcon's Eye. Now, because of this shine and this great glow, Tiger's Eye is great for protection, it's great for upliftment and empowerment, it's also great for promoting success in your life as well. So let's have a look at each of those themes in a little more detail. Tiger's Eye has a long history of being used as a protective crystal. Roman soldiers would wear it engraved with protective symbols and in the Middle Ages they'd use it to protect them against demons, spells and the evil eye. Now a lot of people like to use black crystals for protection and they're great because they work like a sponge and absorb those unwanted energies and those low vibration energies that you don't want around you. But what happens is they don't kind of change anything, they just absorb and you need to cleanse, absorb and cleanse. Golden Tiger's Eye has the ability to uplift you. It doesn't work like a sponge, it works like a mirror. The chatoyancy or the shining that deflects those unwanted energies around you. It kind of encases you in this golden light and what happens allows high vibration energies to still come in but doesn't allow those low vibrations to deflect them away. Now if you want to use Tiger's Eye for protection for your personal self, it's great to wear a piece especially over your chest near your uh, solar plexus chakra. What happens is you can start each day and instead of visualising and focusing on that black colour for protection, focus on gold. Imagine yourself you know, embodied in this golden ray of light, maybe a golden ball of sunshine. And when you think about it, no darkness can exist wherever the sun shines. So really focus on that, concentrate that, hold the crystal and connect with that and allow that to keep that golden light throughout the day. Now if you'd like to, you know, really practice that and be guided through doing that on my yellow CD which is volume 3 happiness and protection you'll see the tiger's eye meditation and you can do that there not only can you use tiger's eye for your personal protection but you can use it to protect your home or your space what you do is if you have no major safety concerns and you just want a bit of protection around your home then get four tiger's eyes just some small pieces will be fine and put them on the four major entrances on the four sides of your house now these may be doors or windows or wherever the most energy will be coming in four is a number of solidarity and strength it's the square so it sets up a bit of a grid around your house and it doesn't have to be an exact square just those four major points now if you want to amp that up a little bit more then get a combination of frankincense resin pure sea salt and some cumin seeds, mix them all together and sprinkle them around the edge of your house. Tiger's eye can also be used to stop unwanted prying or you know if you're worried about surveillance and you know being surveyed too much then you know put some tiger's eye near surveillance cameras especially if you've maybe got a boss or someone who's trying to watch you a bit too much or if you feel that you're being watched too much tiger's eye helps to deflect that unwanted attention. The more empowered you are, the less likely you'll need Tiger's Eye or any other crystal for protection. The more you focus on positivity, those low vibration hindrances that drag you down each day will start to drift away and have less of an impact on you. Sit with your Tiger's Eye and meditate with it, ideally in the sun because the sun is so empowering and uplifting and really works with Tiger's Eye. And ask yourself, how can I focus on more positive and higher ideals and put my energy into you know, pursuits that are really positive and beneficial for me and for other people? How can I walk away from those negative influences and not get attached to those emotional draining situations? And Tiger's Eye can help you to do that. Tiger's Eye can really, as you work with it each day, help you become more empowered and help you to start to see the goodness that's in people and what's actually happening in the world instead of getting dragged down by that negativity. I asked a group of people to carry Tiger's Eye for a week and what they reported when they came back is they said, you know, when I went for my morning walk the colours seemed brighter, smells seemed stronger and the birds seemed louder. And these are all signs that your vibration is actually rising. And so Tiger's Eye really helps to lift you out of those doldrums. It's a really great one for balancing and, and, and actually stimulating the solar plexus chakra. It helps to make you more confident, more radiant and more friendly and it gets you out there interacting with the world in a more friendly way. Now if you've got problems with power struggles either at home or at work then Tiger's Eye can help to balance all that by having it around in that way. It's also really good if you've got one pet trying to dominate the other. Put a little small piece, a little pendant on the collar of the pet that's trying to dominate. Because it helps with the um, the solar plexus chakra, it also helps to regulate the digestive system and Tiger's Eye has a reputation for really helping with 
the gallbladder and ulcers. But if you've got anything to do with uh, digestive problems, working with Tiger's Eye can really help in that way as well. As all that unwanted energy and negativity falls by the wayside, Tiger Eye becomes the crystal of success, prosperity, luck and growth. It's really good to carry with you when you really need to shine, whether that be in a professional or in a personal point of view. Now if you've got an important interview or presentation that you need to give, then hold your tiger's eye, feel its strength, draw that into your being and you know, listen to an inspirational song. Eye of the Tiger is a really good one and allow tiger's eye to help you to shine to your full potential. This is a really great piece, uh, sorry, a really great crystal for young people starting to make their way in the world. If you're feeling that you know your age or your lack of experience is a bit disadvantaged, then Tiger's Eye can really help you to shine and put your best foot forward and see how your new enthusiasm can be an asset. This is especially great for young men because it helps its solar energy helps to connect to the divine masculine. So it can help young men to step forward to feel confident and really be empowered by their masculine yang side. Now being a successful crystal, it does help with financial abundance as well. Take your tiger's eye, visualize the financial abundance you want, and then leave that near a green candle, because that green for prosperity and the candle for transformation, they all work together. And light that candle for about five minutes each day, hold your tiger's eye, and reinforce that commitment until the green candle's gone on, burnt to the bottom basically, and then carry your tiger's eye each day. And this can be a great way to bring more abundance into your life. Use Tiger's Eye to attract someone that you're sexually compatible with into your life. Now what you want to do is you want to get two Tiger's Eye, just some two small tumbled stones, two black onyx, because onyx is all about magnetism, and two fiery red crystals, either rubies or red garnets are really good. Hold all six of them in your hands and then visualize what you want, even list it and kind of feel that feelings of what you actually want to feel with that sexually compatible partner. And then what you do is on your two bedside tables, put two red candles and put one set of each. So one tiger's eye, one red crystal, and one black onyx on each side, and allow that person to be drawn into your life. Even if you've got that person in your life, this combination can really help to make lovemaking enjoyable for both people. So it's a really great, fiery, passionate crystal, and that's another use that tiger's eye is great for, which is, helps you to shine in the bedroom and bring the bedroom experience to be a really uplifting and positive experience for you. Tiger's Eye helps us form an energetic connection with tigers. And what we can do is we can really connect with that guide as a teacher for us and take on the lessons of tiger. You may want to close your eyes and feel the tiger energy within you or around you or visualize them in a meditation, maybe in a sanctuary and you interacting with tiger and them imparting your wisdom. Tiger has many great lessons and one I really love is it teaches you to empower and be passionate about what you do and to spend your energy on that. Tiger doesn't spend his whole day, just like all cats, walking around, you know, doing whatever they want. They, they rest and then when they need to go hunt, that's when they use their energy. So Tiger asks you, are you wasting your energy on excess or frivolous activities or are you devoting all of your energy to things that are important? So you can really connect with Tiger's eye and use that as a tool to connect with the energy and the teachings of Tiger. Now just like we can benefit from Tiger, Tiger needs our help as well. I'm a regular at the Perth Zoo and there's a really saddening sign above the tiger enclosure that talks about the different species and it has a number in the populations a hundred years ago and what we have today. And even some of the species are totally extinct and that really saddens me. Tigers need our help in our conservation. So you can connect with Tiger's Eye and really help to put those positive lights. You can visualize, you know, positive light for tigers and sending them golden light and also around their habitats as well. You can also make grids. Use Tiger's Eye as your central crystal. Pop that there, maybe with a beautiful picture of a tiger. Put some clear quartz pointing outwards to send that energy out. And then other crystals such as Jade for human compassion. Unikite is good for animal breeding and Moss Agate will help to protect tiger habitats. Of course, putting our energy out there and our attention there really helps to change our vibration. But more you can do by supporting tiger conservation and looking up different charities that help tigers and supporting as much as you can, if only a few dollars, can make a major difference as well. So that we have these great teachers for the rest of our lives and for future generations as well.
Hopefully I've inspired you to want to work with your tiger's eye a little bit more. But before we do that, we're going to want to cleanse it. So because it's a solar crystal, I cleanse it using the sun. So I'll put it out at sunrise to absorb those first early morning uplifting energies. Or if I'm using it for protection, I'll cleanse it at the sunset to get rid of all those unwanted energies and let that go. Now because it's got such a yang masculine energy about it, ideally I like to put it in sand, ideally in desert sand. Natural desert sand is a beautiful way to cleanse this crystal. Now I've talked about the animal already, the tiger, but it also works really well with a couple of different plants. My first favourite one is cumin, and cumin is great, we talked about using it for protection before, but the essential oil is so uplifting and you know it's an oil of masculine empowerment and really helps to empower that masculine side regardless of your gender. It's really good to diffuse or inhale when meditating because it can really guide you on the ethics of manifestation and making sure that you're not taking too much or wanting too much and that everyone benefits from it. So if you're working with tiger's eye for uh, manifestation then diffusing cumin while you're doing that to make sure that your wishes are for the greatest good of all concern can be really good as well if you're using tiger's eye to attract a partner then using cumin essential oil can really help to bring in a long-lasting committed relationship or partner as well now the other plant I like to use is ginseng and obviously ginseng is great for our energy levels and because that helps our energy levels it helps with the upliftment which we're talking to tiger's eye as well and burning either ginseng incense or using the flower essence can actually increase our positivity now astrologically this obviously resonates with the Sun and the Sun rules Sunday so if you're gonna do a major work with tiger's eye try and do it on a Sunday because the energies are a bit more aligned on that day now one word of warning when it comes to working with tiger's eye some people have found that because of its strong energies, it can make parts of your body feel a bit numb and affect your circulation. Now don't let that scare you off. If you do find that, what I recommend is just work with Tiger's Eye for seven days and then have seven days rest. But for many people, they have no problems with Tiger's Eye and they only enjoy all the benefits of upliftment, protection and success. Now have you worked with Tiger's Eye? Please share with our crystal community and comment in the section below on how Tiger's Eye has made a difference in your life. And if you'd like to really build that connection with it, don't forget to check out my CD. I'll leave the links on the bottom down as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelay. Blessed be.